<laughs> hey, Sean. So I wanted to run through a few, um, just a few numbers. We talked briefly. You just mentioned about Allegan's market in general. Here is, if you look here, where this mouse cursor is going, we're seeing the prices have gone from 92000 in 2013 to now they're about 147000 So that's improvement. Um, I mean, obviously, and this is one thing that's challenging too about your specific price bracket. You, we would literally have to get two or three people to move the average buyer in Allegan. We have to get two or three of them to move in together in order to be able to purchase your home. Um, the next thing, so that's just a general move. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to take general, and then I'm going to kind of hone it in a little bit on your specific area, this specific river slash lake, and then we can kind of talk a little bit more in detail about your property. I still need to see it. So, um, but this is just, again, an overview. So if we look, if we take a look at Allegan, which is this number here, so 55 Allegan Township, and the, this, what this is, is it's basically a rundown of how long it would take for a specific house to sell given a location, activity, and then price range. And so home selling between 300 and 400,000 or $500,000, which is the bracket that we're more or less talking about, that takes on average 3.6 months to sell. There are three of them currently on the market. Five of them have sold throughout the year. There's about seven months of inventory. And if we do the math, you got 3.6 months. So we're selling above that, but here's what's interesting. So far as of now until last year, there has not been one house to sell like has closed uh, from May 19th earlier. Like we don't have any, um, which, isn't, which isn't great news considering the fact that we're trying to go above what the absorption rate is for that specific area. So, just keep in mind, I mean, we're looking for the long game here. Um, and not saying that we couldn't sell it fast, but let's hone in on your area. So now you, you've probably already been drawn to this map here. You can tell this is where you, the area that you're, we're talking about. Here are all the homes that sold. So there are 22 homes on the river in this little area, which I think is important to stay. Let's compare it. Try to compare apples to apples here. So one, two, three, four, four actives that are on the water. And then we have four pendings, which the only one that went pending that's in here, that's even close to where still $100,000 off was this one, which we can look at in a minute. And then we have this many sold, um, which is a fair amount. But again, one for 360, this one for 420 did sell let's look at that let's move my picture here um five bedrooms three baths it was on the market 193 days so 200 days almost is how long this was on the market sold with five star so not the best company well i won't say anything negative about them they don't have the reach berkshire hathaway does um or a local, more local company. So the house, I mean, I don't, I would personally, I mean, I'm not going to criticize anyone, but I would recommend as a professional to take the construction material out of the home that you're trying to sell, especially if it's a $220,000, $420,000 asset. So yeah, so there's some marketing. I mean, just by looking at the photos, which is very important. I mean, there are some marketing issues here, um, which I think would decrease the price. And maybe there's a few other things too. I mean, like I'm assuming I would, I'm assuming the water table is a little higher. So I'm curious on how soft this ground is, but anyway, so that is sort of the gist. I, and what I'm encouraged about, keep in mind, you're not trying to sell your property in competition of other realtors. You're trying to sell them in competition of other homes. And so these are the four homes on the lake river you know it's kind of a little bit of both in that area that are for sale so we have 
far as I can tell, we have five buyers every year that are going to purchase a house in that price bracket between 300 and 500,000. What we need is one of those people to say yes to you and no to one of these homes. This one's probably out, to be honest, if they're looking in this price bracket. So that just leaves three as of right now that you have to be better than. These two you're going to be, depending on if, how, how you feel about price, at least on your last listing, you're going to beat these two out simply by price. This one we just have to beat out. Um, we just have to sell the house. We just have to demonstrate um, the value that your house has in comparison to this one. So that's sort of the idea here. So, um, or at least what I'm seeing. I, again, I still need to look at the house. I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about it. But instead of just sending you some numbers, I wanted to give you an idea and my perspective on, on the breakdown of the data. So appreciate you listening. Um, in the, my description or in my email I'm sending you, my website's there as well. I'm still make, trying to optimize that. So if there's any errors, let me know. I'm still working. Still, it's a work in progress. But it should give you an idea of who I am and what I stand for. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Please give me a call when you're done listening to it, and then we can go from there. All right. Appreciate you.